He just was the funniest, most laid back, kind, just awesome guy. Tim was an event manager, and so a lot of times at events things get really hectic and people get frantic and people get stressed out, and Tim would always be even keeled and say, hey, it's all good. Like, it's all good. We'll figure it out. It's all good. Tim passed away in spring of 2008, so uh, we decided shortly thereafter to create an award in his honor based on a lot of characteristics that Tim possessed. The first criteria of the award is resiliency. When he was diagnosed with cancer, all right, just another problem, we're gonna solve it. That like never say die spirit was a big part of why I think he was able to stay well for so long. He used to work with troubled kids in residential programs. Really hard work that a lot of others would have shied away from. He gave them his all. Very little to nothing rattled him. So if there's a hurricane coming, fine, we'll figure it out. <laughs> He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. It, like, you know, it wasn't like the yuck, yuck, yuck kind of jokes, but he'd say something, he'd be like, that was brilliant. Just a stand-up person, the type of person that you knew would do anything for you and anything for anybody else. I was so happy when Special Olympics told me that, um, that they were creating this award in Tim's memory. And it's been an honor every year to be involved in the award and, you know, helping look at the nominees. Tim and Brian are actually really similar. Uh, they remind me of one another, and that's why Brian is so fitting to receive this award. When I discovered why he was getting this award, uh, I was very pleased and very touched, and I know that whatever he has done, it's because of Justin. My brother Justin, what can I say? You know, he, he is my best friend, and he's just really an inspiration to, to me personally and to our whole family. You know, if we can live a life that's as genuine, full of love and appreciation and commitment to your family as he has, then uh, it, it'll be uh, mission accomplished. Your brother's a really good guy, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Is, uh, is, he, is he one of your best friends? Uh, yeah, Brian is my friend. All of our athletes, just being when their family members come in and, um, you know, share in their accomplishments. To see him compete in the opening swim meet against Argentina, Brazil, uh, Spain, he won the gold medal in that first event. Um, those are memories that, you know, nobody can ever take away from us. It's, it's just been an incredible outlet for him. Um, you know, to be with friends, and uh, it's given him, um, for a long time, a, a much better social life than I ever had. The only way that people with intellectual disabilities moving forward are going to continue to live happier, healthier lives with the help of the Special Olympics movement is through the efforts of people like Brian. He had very significant surgery on his, his knee but he was up and about long before he should have put aside the crutches uh, typical of the way Brian has led his life. Compassion rings loud and clear with his devotion to golf fights cancer. My close friend and I, Jay Monahan, were at a funeral for a friend who died and left three little kids behind and we said, geez, we should do something. Every penny goes to making the life of the patient are their family more comfortable? We'll keep plugging along and raising uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars until one day we're raising millions of dollars. I am just in awe that this is my offspring that has been able to do this. When Brian enters the room at a family gathering, um, I don't know whether calmness is the word that I would associate with Brian because he usually gets everybody worked up. But in adversity, I know that I could count on Brian. I know he's had a lot of fun. I think you would have to talk to especially his Holy Cross roommates. Even to this day, something will be mentioned that makes me sit up and say, what was that all about? When Brian was in junior high, he was elected class president. And when he went to high school, he was elected class president. When he went to Holy Cross, everywhere we went, it was Otsi, Otsi, uh, all over the campus. Everybody knew him, and I think they knew him for the goodness. You always get back so much more than you give. So it may seem like a, a, 
from doing these nice things was probably more selfish than anything else because you feel good about it. Uh, he's just an all-around good, solid guy in the same way that Tim was an all-around good, solid guy. I think uh, uh, I would have liked to have known Tim. We have probably had a lot of common. Um, from what you told me, he liked to have a beer with his friends. Um, I'm into that too. To be some, the first person kind of outside the Special Olympics family to receive this, it's, it's a great honor. You know, on behalf of my family and on behalf of all the folks who golf fights cancer, I proudly accept. So, thanks. One, two, three, go! go